Hey guys, this is Zevin from DNC. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can add a checkbox options in your contact form 7. Yeah, so let's go into our step by step sharing. The form that you are looking at right now is a very basic default contact form 7, right? Which are having our name, email, our subject, and also the message, right? So for those of you, if you are thinking to have an add-on fill um, in your contact form and um, thinking to give your users, your clients to have a checkbox options, um, how do you do that, right? So a checkbox options, it will look, for example, something like this. Yep. So in the contact form, currently I'm using my demo account. So in the contact form, you'll be able to have the basic information. And at the same time, you'll be able to have this. All right. So, you know, the uh, checkbox for you to select multiple options or just one then the users will be able to submit the form with the additional information required by you. Yep. So first of all, I'm using a different team right here. So the display of the form, the design of the form, it will all depends on the team that you're using. Second, right now, I'm using a contact form 7 plugin as a demo. All right, so uh, this contact form 7, you need to make sure that you install and activate the plugin before we can actually go into the exact tutorial. All right, now, right now, let me just hop to my contact form settings. Yeah, so right here, if you can see, um, I already have my contact form 7 plugins activated, and um, yeah, you'll be able to see the setting on the left. All right, so once I come into here, and selected the form that I would like to edit, okay? Right now, you'll be able to see all these settings, yep? And you need to decide where do you want to um, locate or where do you want to position or the checkbox right there. B it is right after the email or you want to make it like before the email, how do you want it to look like, right? So let's say oh, right here, I want just want to put it um, before the email and what do you do is that you're going to copy and duplicate the whole settings right below okay where you want the location to be okay so then after that you're going to change all the settings one by one the first lines right here this is the information that is going to display on your website okay the titles of right here on your website all right so let's say I, I I want to change it to your title. What you're on you are a Mr, you are a Miss, you are a Mrs, or you are, you know, with other titles right there. Alright. So then um down here, the main parts right here, it will be this one. Okay, the open bracket. Yeah. So the open brackets right here, you need to replace it. How do we replace? If you can see on over right here, there's a lot of blue boxes. And all these blue boxes, it tells you the additional um, fill and additional features that you can actually use on your contact form 7, yeah? So um, the first one right here, I mean, there's a lot of others, right? You can add a telephone, you can add a website URL, you can also add a drop-down menu that I also cover in my other videos as well. You know, you can also, you know, uh, allow them to have uh, upload file right in your contact form 7 as well so this video i'll be just focusing on how to add a checkbox all right so just click on the checkbox and right here okay i'm just going to click on the uh, required field if this is something that you want your users to submit yeah so as a required information so check on the checkbox and here i'm just going to put title your title all right and observe yeah once I change this name, the name over right here is not really that important that you need to find a perfect naming, you know, beautiful the name, not necessary. This name right here is purely just um, a reference for yourself, 
all right so it's not going to display publicly to the uh, customers on you know on the internet no all right it's not going to display anywhere else on the website so just go ahead rename the title and right here you can see that this name yep is going to change yep currently it shows that checkbox nine but when the moment that i click on all the other places outside the box i want you to see the reflex yeah this checkbox nine it should reflect whatever information that we enter over right here so ready i'm going to click outside the box and you'll see all right so the checkbox nine right now it will reflect the titles that we enter right here the name so if i change it to uh you know like a, a, a um 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 miss <laughs> all right so that name will change as well okay so over right here that's all right now under the option this option it will be showing as here the option for users to be able to see on your website right so i can just put mr mrs miss and you know maybe other titles all right maybe i will just put others right okay so once i put that same thing i'll just click on you know other outside and here you will be able to see the titles right here okay all the information has been selected and highlighted right here and right now what you need to do just copy and paste and we are going to close this and we are going to replace the parts right here that just now we just you know kind of like copy and paste right here right but this is wrong so we need to go and replace these and now our form is ready okay go ahead save changes and you can now refresh your page i'm going to update my page and double check on my form all right so i'm going to see here chan, 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 chan. after the name i will have this your title i can check on i'm mr i'm mrs or i'm miss all right so then the users can continue you can also use it as like a, a tnc as i mentioned you know um be it where you want to use the checkbox, you know, um, the location of the checkbox. Currently, I'm using it as like one of the options right here. However, if I just want to use it as, you know, a TNC, if you happen to see some other, you know, form that people will be using at the very bottom of the form, they will have that checkbox. And then I agree with the terms and conditions of this website and, you know, and so on right so i fully understand what i'm getting and stuff like that then you check on the the box and you submit form you can also do it over right here with your contact form um seven same concept so this one i'm just going to remove that i'm going to repeat one more time yep you can just come to here under the your message i'm just going to put it after my message and then of the titles i'm not going to put any title but now this is a part i'm going to change this right so same thing i'm going to check box and then it's a required field instead of these i'm going to put tnc all right uh terms maybe yeah okay terms all right so i i i i i ag i agree <laughs> i have i have read the terms and condition okay whatever lah huh? the tmc all right so right after that you just click on you know same things all the other places outside and over right here you're just going to copy this information close this box and we are going to replace it here all right so save changes i'm going to refresh my page again one more time preview okay so you can see uh your name your email subject message and here right so there'll be a checkbox right after that i've read the terms and condition and i'm aware with the product and services being provided by dmc that's it and set all right so this is how you do that now 
Horn for a wall. We are very close to complete our full settings, but just a little bit more right here, yeah? A little bit more. Currently, uh, if you can see from the form, we have set up everything. However, one more steps, yeah, in your contact form seven. Over right here, if you can see, um, everything is perfect that is showing on your website right now. However, when the users is selecting the information, okay, is checking on the box on your checkbox whether or not you are going to receive all the updates. This is the part that you need to ensure that you check under the mail tab. All right. So in the case, right, if you can see, there's these options right here. Whenever you see a difference in terms of the color, okay, one is in light gray, the other one is in black color. Anything that you see in black color, it means something wrong. Okay, something is wrong with your form, you know, uh, information is not being captured. Um, when the user enter, you know, all these information of right here, misses, miss, or others, you know, you won't be able to receive and you can't see that in your email, right? So that is a very, very big mistake over right here. So we need to solve this problem by how? Over right here, inside your message body, you need to make sure that you have that option right there, okay? The terms, and you need to copy and paste exactly these short codes right here. And we're going to place it here. So earlier on, if my earlier um, drop-down menu, where is it? Over right here, um, yeah, <laughs> under this tab, okay? So if I'm not using this checkbox right here, I'm using it as my earlier, you know, my title, yeah. So let's say, yeah. So this is my title. Mr. Mrs. Miss and others, right? So this is my title right here. Okay, save changes. All right, so if I come to my mail tab, you can see this that will change, right? So then it became a um, title. So I need to ensure that in, instead of terms, right now there's no terms anymore in my settings. Yeah. So I need to remove that and become like your title. Okay. And I have to put this right here. All right. So what will happen is that when the moment the users come and come here and select me, when you receive the email, it will be automatically replaced with whatever information that the user entered. All right. So uh, this is the part. Now, right now, I want you to observe. When the moment I click on save changes, the title will change it to light gray instead of the black color. Okay. This it will to indicate to you whether or not you have successfully made the changes. Okay. So if something is still wrong, the color will still remain as black color. Okay, so very easy for you to know, yeah? So after the save changes, if you can see right now, the title color will change to light gray. So that is the moment that you can say that, ah, you know, finally, my form is ready. And right now, what you need to do, always I will send myself a form, a testing, yeah? I will enter the name, I'll select all the information over right here, hit on submit and double check on my email if I receive all the information that being entered earlier, all right? So if you don't see the information, still there's something missing and you need to cross check and double check with all the information right there, all right? So that's all in this video that I would like to share with you how you can actually add a checkbox to your WordPress contact form seven. And uh, for those of you, if you like our video, remember to help us like and share. And if you have successfully added a checkbox to your contact form 7, remember to leave a comment below and let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.